All right, it's finally the day has come to do the EDC car version. So this is going to be uh, that. Anyway, um, about the car, this is a 2011 Kia Optima GDI, which means gasoline driven, uh, gasoline driven something. Anyway, not important. Nothing fancy, just a cool looking emblem that I already took off. So, uh, it's a 200 horsepower, four cylinder inline, dual overhead cam engine, um, six speed automatic or manual transmission. I don't use the manual um, feature. Just, you know, I never have used it. I don't have a reason to use it. So, anyway, it is uh, pretty fast. It's not the fastest car in the world, but. You know, it gets me to where I need to get. Some upgrades, NGK spark plugs, k and filter. Um, some HIDs in the interior and stuff like that. Uh, carbon black wheels I paint it and uh, upgraded to tires, which aren't on yet. I just got to get them mounted and balanced. But I got some Goodyear's, nice all-terrain weather uh, tire, uh, Z-rated. Anyway, uh, it's been a decent amount about 140 each on them I just want good tires on my car and good brakes and keep up with the maintenance and all that good stuff and you'll be you'll be loving life uh, another upgrade that you'll notice is the limousine tint there's a blacked out windshield even the windshield is blacked out um, it is not for everyone I don't recommend doing it if you have uh, fears of getting pulled over I've never been pulled over for that specifically I've been pulled over and bitched about it but I've never been pulled over just for that exact reason. Now, it does give cops probable cause to search your vehicle uh, or law enforcement, whatever. Um, so if you're somebody who does illegal things in your car, like, you know, whatever you do, none of my business. But uh, having tinted windows probably isn't your option for that. I have my windows tinted for these reasons. One, who the heck's going to walk up to this thing and car jack it? Nobody. You got to be nuts. I mean, you got to be a complete idiot. You can't see in the car. It's just not something that somebody's going to carjack. So there's reason number one, self-defense. Reason number two, uh, it looks good. Uh, reason number three, it keeps the sun out. Driving with sun in your eyes is a pain in the ass. Disclosure, at nighttime, it gets worse. It's hard to drive at night and see and back up and stuff, um, especially if it's raining and really dark out. It's just, you know, that's why I upgraded to HID lights. Um, but anyway, um, it it just it's just one of those things where I don't think I could drive another car without having tinted windows. Now, tinted windows is one thing. Having a tinted windshield is a whole other ball game. As you'll see, I have my Pennsylvania State Police uh, support patch and my NRA and my skinny medic thing, which generally keeps bad guys away as well. Uh, it's just not really a car that somebody's gonna say hmm let's go carjack that person one you can't even tell if i have four people in there and uh it's just you know keeps bad guys away and that's generally why i have it especially working where i work was a really dangerous area anyway um let's get into the inside of it uh you'll see some upgrade i put these little do doodads on the mirror to help see better when you're you know out of blind spots Hopping on inside, up here, and you'll see there's the upgraded lights that I put in it. I, I keep a K-bar up here in this Molly visor thingy, um, and this is just a little self-defense thing, K-bar. It never hurts to have one of these around. You see the windshield tent peeling off a little bit there, but uh, yeah. That's K-Bar, uh, another knife here, this is a SOG Instinct, a uh, little neck knife, then you got two pens here, and a Glock 43 magazine, pinky extension, and then over here, I keep a thing of mace, and say a carjacker was at the window, and wasn't leaving me alone, and, or somebody was at the window for whatever reason, wouldn't get the hell away from the car, um, I have this rigged up to where... I could put that down. It would take a little bit of practice, but uh, it would work. And uh, hit them right in the face. It's rigged up where it would hit them in the face. 
with mace. So <laughs> that's a Maxpedition holster. And also I could take it out of there if I needed to use it. Um, 200 horsepower, uh, 187 pounds of torque, uh, dual overhead cam engine. I already mentioned that. Um, I do keep up with the maintenance and stuff like that. So it's important when you do that. One thing I added into it also is a Pioneer touchscreen. Um, it's not navigation, but I, who uses their car for navigation anymore anyway? Unless it has it. Unless you have like some crazy Mercedes or BMW, you know, you don't really have that feature. Oh, well, some upgrade it. Uh, cars have it but anyway this car doesn't and um it just has the pioneer i put a touchscreen pioneer in there uh it works really great i love it um better than the factory one uh these two magnet things that you'll see here for the phone this one i use generally for navigation that one is from when i film youtube and say hi to the guy from star wars who protects the car at all costs Yes! All my subscribers have been waiting for this day for a long time. Um, right here you'll notice the Glock 43. That's generally how I have it stuffed in there <laughs> um, when I'm driving. If I don't feel like having it in my waistband or whatever, or if it's not in the little thing I have set up for the bag. Here I keep another Glock magazine. Um, this is the factory base plate. Then I have my Spyderco paramilitary, which is the knife I've carry on me today um i was just at the gym so i took it off and then just a little multi-tool in here back a little corny multi-tool and that's really all i keep in that area uh in the glove box i keep an extra holster just in case one breaks or something or the one i have i don't want to use them just use this one got some dude wipes in there a bunch of information on the car and all the receipts for oil changes tires brakes stuff like that um, the power charger I use, this is my phone charger, and I also have iPhone chargers in here in the glove box, they're folded up, I didn't show you, um, but there's an iPhone charger, this is Android, and just a little coin purse, so instead of having change all over the place, and this is an anchor, um, little power cable thing, better than the junky ones you'll get, like Walmart and Pet Boys and stuff like that, this is my EDC bag, which will generally have all my essentials in it that I'll need throughout the day and, and uh, stuff like that. It's also going to have, um, you know, my flashlights in there. So I always have a flashlight. Um, and like, you know, some basic tools and medical items. You guys all know it's in my EDC pack, but that's always in my car with me anytime I'm in my car. I don't ever leave this at home. Not even if I'm just going to a convenience store. I mean, what's the point of having stuff like that if you're just going to leave it at home? It's like having a gun. Like when you, why would, why would you get a gun that you're not going to wear constantly all the time? You know what I mean? So it's very important to always have your firearm with you if you're a concealed carry person. So in here, just car insurance, registration, crap like that. Um, these are my good pair of sunglasses, my Ray-Ban uh, Clubmasters. These are about $200 glasses, so I like to leave them in the case. ID work thing. Then there's like in here, there's just, um, you know, a bunch of stuff, matches, backup flashlight that actually doesn't even work. There's the holster for it. Always good to have deodorant in your car. I like the clinical. Um, and then there's just more napkins, just a band-aid, just miscellaneous crap laying around that in there. Um, I try to keep it pretty organized. It's just not today. Um, believe it or not, I didn't do any, uh, I didn't do any film, um, like pre- nothing i just this is how the car is so in the back you'll see the seat folded down usually that's how i have it um unless there's people in the car then i'll put that up but that's the uh that's an mtx 1000 watt amp two channel that's going to power my 10 inch rocker phosgate subwoofer i used to be a rapper so got to have a little bump in the trunk if you know what i mean uh this is my sunglass holder i'll Put whatever ones I'm wearing for driving today. I have on these, those cheapies. Um, and then, you know, the car has, like, the mirrors here and stuff. And, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, this has a compass. It'll tell you what direction you're headed. Um, the car has, you know, so it'll tell you up there in that little screen southwest. And. 
and that's generally it for the interior um i keep here i keep just like you know microfiber and a glove for when i'm doing uh, pump when i have to pump gas and i'm already dressed for the evening which i try not to do i generally do my gas uh on a friday so let's pop into the trunk area and then you'll see somebody hit my door i gotta get that fixed but uh yeah, I haven't done that yet. But let me pop open the trunk. And then in this inside here, you'll see my 10 inch rocker phosgate. Uh, there's the headrest for the seat that goes down. And then back here is where I keep like a lot of um, stuff for like maintenance in the car and uh, roadside assistance and stuff like that. So let's get into that. All right, so inside the container, I have um, some safety road straps. Um, you know towing straps whatever this is spray wax a microfiber um, this is a funnel for your gas tank or oil if you need to put in oil and then an absorber towel jumper cables and um, here you'll have I have a bunch of tools specifically for this car the engine um, the tires and the rims um, this is a pump just in case you know and with the plug kit in case your tire went flat and then uh, you got to do the plug kit which I have in here too um, and then you can pump the tire up with the air so it's good to have one of those um, this is just a brake fluid um, I don't have any oil I usually keep a thing of oil here or maybe two uh, but generally I keep up with that kind of stuff with the car so and then all these tools that I have in here are specifically just for this engine the spark plugs the the alternator um, the axle stuff like that so nothing nothing crazy you got to look all over the place for i know what bolts and what nuts are going to be for what and what uh screwdrivers and uh socket set you would need for each thing so um there's not a bunch of different things you would have to search through i know everything even the bumper so this would be like for the bumper clips and stuff like that so anyway um that's it for this oh and knee pad um, very important for when you're changing your tire if you ever had to change your tire, it's better than bending over. You can lean on one knee. I used to have two of them, but one works, um, you know. Uh, so that helps. And then here's the ice scraper for when it's icy and whatever. And that's pretty much it for uh, this thing here. Now, back in this, this kit, I keep, um, this is a lot of medical stuff and also some survivor gear in here uh, in this front zipper area. I don't think there's anything. Um, this is incomplete at the moment. I'm temp I'm in the process of building this thing up. Um, but this is your direct action messenger bag. So uh, in here on the side, you'll see uh, a tourniquet, a SWAT T tourniquet, out of its wrapper, easy to get to. Uh, and then just a boo boo kit here from CVS. Emergency blanket just in case I break down and I got to spend the night in the car. Car doesn't run, no heat. Here we go. Then you got yourself a headlamp. Always good to have a headlamp. I have extra batteries in my EDC and also in here for this. This is a trauma kit. Uh, you're going to see more tourniquet chest seals, wound seals, um, stuff like that for uh, um, trauma stuff inside there. And then a holster. Just That used to be my EDC pack, so that's in there. But in case I have my VanQuest Trident 20 with me, um, I'll be able to put my firearm inside the back securely with this. So I just keep it here. Um, generally, my rule of thumb is if I'm leaving more than an hour from my house traveling, I'll switch my Recycle Firefighter EDC back out for my EDC bag out for my VanQuest Trident 20, which will hold much more gear. And I'll be able to uh, travel a much longer distance walking with that than the Recycle Firefighter. So, depending on where I'm going is what I'm going to have. Generally, my everyday carry backpack is my Recycle Firefighter. But, like I said, if I'm traveling long distance, another state, whatever, I'll switch it up. So, I'll be able to put some of this stuff in my EDC pack. And then here, uh, more stuff just in case I break down and get caught somewhere far away. Or, you know, shit hits the fan kind of stuff happens. Um, got a backup multi-tool. Um, not a big deal, but it does work. And then you got some fire starter stuff here, very important. Uh, here's the extra batteries, that's going to be for the headlamp. Um, then you have a crowbar, just a mini crowbar, a compass, which is pointing southwest. 
Yes, I guess. Is it? Oh, I think it's the other way. But anyway, I don't even know if that works. Tin foil, in case you got to light a fire in wet ground. That helps, and some other uses for that as well. Um, and in here, there's just a lighter, a wound seal, and a mini buck knife. Over on this side, I just keep more survival type items. Uh, cotton ball mixed in, vas mixed in Vaseline helps for starting fire. This is tape, uh, flattened out duct tape. A little mini flashlight, extra spare key for the house because in case you lock yourself out of the house, there's always one in the car. Very good idea to have. Uh, then more, oh this is a little multi-tool SOS thing. So that's in here. Ape survival, more tin foil in there. And then another knife. Uh, this is your CRKT minimalist neck knife. It's a nice little knife. Uh, never hurts to have one of them around. So that's pretty much about it for my medical slash survival items that I keep in my uh, messenger bag here. There's nothing inside here now. There's a few things that I need to put in here. Like uh, one thing is definitely like a poncho or some kind of rain gear. Um, if you ever had to change a tire and downpouring rain, it can get very uncomfortable. But for now, I do have a heavy mill spec trash bag in my EDC bag, which is always on me. So um, that's a temporary thing. But uh, rain gear is something I would always keep in my car. If, uh, if you don't have any, get it. And uh, something that's going to be something that I put in here very soon. Um, right here, you'll see a hat. This is just in case the headlamp doesn't work or I don't have sunglasses, sun's on my eye, or if I got to travel long distance, I'll put this on. Or maybe for some reason it's really cold and I don't have a hat on, I'll have this in here always. So these two items are for that. Also, um, I can strap my O-lights onto these as well, which will give me visibility at nighttime if I have to do some kind of repair. Um, this helps also for roadside repairs and also some kind of first responder thing if there's a bad car accident or something and you're you're the first person on the scene this can come in handy with um police and stuff and fire who can see you easily and be able to track you down uh also instead of road flares i like to use these road triangles um you set those up and um that'll keep people from you getting hit uh, when you're doing repairs on your car on the side of the road or stuff like that so um this is all pretty Pretty much important stuff that you would need to have in your car um you should have in your car at least and there are some things that i don't have in here yet but um you know that's a it's a pretty good start to if you're trying to figure out some things for your car and uh you know you want to get started and be better organized in your vehicle those are some of the things that you should get now there's there's some things that I don't have in there yet, like the rain gear and that SOS emergency kit. But I have a lot of stuff I put together myself, like the uh, the tire repair kit and, and all that kind of thing, the window tints and stuff like that. So anyway, that is my EDC car episode. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you, this gave you some ideas for your own car stuff. And um, I think that's about it. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Uh, I did put these reflector additives on the rear lights here, and that'll help. They're also on the front, too. Um, that'll help just uh, if you're broken down, the lights don't work, the hazard lights or the battery's dead or, or whatever. Um, it'll help be, the car be vi more visible uh, on a dark road or something like that. Um, so I didn't make them crazy, like, in your face. Just a little something to help. So if headlights hit them, they will light up. And, uh, you know, that's it. I just try to keep it real nice and clean looking. There are st I'm stuck in this car loan for another two years, I think, before I get rid of it. So uh, there are some things that I want to do to it to make it a little better. Thinking about beefing up the suspension a bit um, and maybe adding some other things to it. So we'll get into that once I do. But uh, for now... This is, um, this is what I got going on, and this will definitely get you out of a bad situation. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Leave comments below, whatever you think. Um, if you have an EDC or if you like more videos like this, I'll do an updated one later. See you guys later. Peace.